studio. All right. It is, uh, you know, Transformational Thursday. And we have a guest. If you're somebody who is into innovation and you're trying to pivot, you're going to have to uh, spend time and listen to her, right? Now, um, Ivy, before I introduce you, do you listen to uh, those two songs? There was Mary J with... Uh, what was the song? Was it on? There was Mary J Blige there with uh, everything. Okay. And then Latoya here with uh, Torn. Torn. Yes. All right. So he didn't even know what the Mary J Blige song was. And he says that's the one that he likes. <laughs> Believe it or not. Kenyans. <laughs> and, um, you know, so um, which one do you fancy? Right. Give me a mic. Which one, which, one do you, which one do you fancy? Mary J Blige. It's Mary J Blige. Okay. So it is uh, <laughs> it is true for mary j and then uh, i actually like her because it's jimmy jam terry lewis i'm definitely gonna go with mary j blige as well i i saw this coming yes indeed so uh that is us here in the in the studio the question is who are you pitching for all you've got to do is all you have to do is just hit us up on our social that is spice fm k e the hashtag to use is definitely spice drive you know, drop your vote and we'll let you know who won the rumble at the 6 the p.m all right now uh you know what it is that hour on the, this day of the week where we basically aspire to inspire this is when basically if you're one of those people who you know it's 2023 yes the president has said gas cylinder prices are going down but you don't have that money to buy the 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 two essentials to cook. To, to cook yeah all right <laughs> and you're looking to pivot because it's all about pivoting yeah all right these are people who are making broad strides in this our society and they're not necessarily shouting about it exactly. well you know what we bring them to the fore we spend time with them so that you can learn from them and then hopefully Kesho, you just get as yeah, you get inspired. See you. Yeah. Um, she won the Pulse Business Influencer of the Year and the Pulse Most Innovative Influencer of the Year 2022. Okay. She's also been nominated for Women in Film. I've got to talk about that one. She is a the current brand ambassador for Samsung Consumer Electronics East Africa. You need to get yourself a brand new phone, my friend. And a <laughs> <laughs> she's a ted talk speaker all right a youtuber with over 25 channels yeah no and no 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 eh, eh. not over 25 channels yeah the channel is called over 25. Oh. ah soon the bus because i was like no yeah yeah yeah, no, yeah. No, no, no. yes Ooh. yes yeah yeah I the, I was, the confusion yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, i'm like Allah. okay guys okay that right. the channel is called over 25. Oh. yes okay okay yeah, actually, yes, there we go. And you, she's an event moderator and an MC. You really, really, her tagline is, I am learning and taking you with me, okay? And this tagline has been brought to life through her digital edutainment properties. There's Money Monday. Mm -hmm. There's uh, Legally Speaking. Mm -hmm. And there's uh, A Day with a Mover. Perfect. Just Ivy. Yeah, with all of that, all of that in your basically portfolio the least we could do is just call you just ivy <laughs> just ivy, yeah. i rebranded to just ivy africa okay because i'm trying to reach um a broader market a bigger market so yeah right or you could just call me ivy just call like, you just ivy yeah ivy yeah, just, ivy ivy <laughs> ivy 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 welcome to spice drive my thank dear. you thank you so much for having me i'm honored to no, be here we are we are totally delighted now uh let's take a journey okay let's mm -hmm. let's go back in time because mm -hmm. i see here first of all there's legally speaking there's money mondays and a day with a mover so legally speaking do we have a legal background not even slightly uh -huh. half the stuff i do is because i don't have the background so i'm learning and taking my audience with me brilliant yeah wow I, I guess you, you're asking that because you have a legal background. yes yes, yes. <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. maybe maybe i should invite you out one of these uh five you days know? let's you shoot know? together yes for sure yeah we, we should yeah because i saw a lot of people were called to the bar today you know a class of i think it's 2020 mm. one or two but mm. anyway so they were called to the bar today now um how did you start on this uh journey ivy you know yeah content creation and uh, I, I like the way you, you you say that you're a think fluencer mm -hmm. <laughs> now that is i think that is uh, not to disparage or to uh, highlight anyone else there's some other content creators uh, abstract yes you know you see and you're like hey jesus you see what i did there yeah hmm? how, how 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 did how did this come about hmm? and why do are people so bored that we watched this thing and we're like, Cling! 
that thing has made my day uh, I th- I what think the hell was that nonsense uh, the, po- the problem actually you came know? about uh, so you when you go to the kitchen to cook a steak that is now big 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 <laughs> big stuff uh, it, we actually we think you kind of like uh accepting mediocrity as Kenyans so, so as a, uh, uh, no 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 so what the people so whatever whatever trends on uh one too many status yes yes you go with it it's called bandwagon exactly so define think influencer because obviously i can see from what you do yeah uh i mean surely when you talk about um money mondays and legally speaking obviously somebody who can hmm, i want to learn because you're learning as well exactly how did that journey start by the way Ivy? um so let me start with the journey then i define Indeed. Indeed. so Indeed. um i think let me very early on in my life i always wanted to be either in front of the camera i don't know what yeah so uh, primary school i was always like a soloist um on stage i was yeah. always like the star reader in class let's move to high school drama club yeah. let's move to university where i fought a little bit but i studied uh journalism and wow. public relations wow. um let's move to one of my first my, my job was literally in sales and marketing so i learned how to sell myself and package myself as a brand when i was living in employment i was a marketing strategist for both digital and experiential marketing okay pause 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 Wh- hold up high school this is where was high school where was high school ah cubs my girl school nairobi short cubs bruv mm-hmm. <laughs> mm-hmm. uh-huh. and then and then <laughs> i can tell i can tell actually yeah. tell. and then <laughs> and, and, i mean what do you mean you can tell no, 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 no. Yeah, yes Gabrians are fantastic women in, in this. <laughs> yeah. we're leaders in society yeah i love that and then and then and then we was we was a drama queen um not a drama queen at all yes i, I tried to move away from drama Although I am pretty melodramatic like yes, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah and I'm very vivacious I'm yes. very high energy. Yeah. So yeah I was in the drama club I was yes. in the choir. Yes. Um actually got an A in music I Come used on. to oh. like I enjoy the creative space. Favorite favorite bit. instrument? You, you like uh, um I wish I had a favorite instrument I was maybe vo- 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 voice. Voice. Oh, oh yeah. Voice. Yeah. Yeah. Do we do we do we sing? Do we sing in the shower? We think in the shower uh, okay so where do we sing ivy we don't sing anymore we don't really we don't sing anymore no, come come on just 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 a little something your, your favorite song come yes on. please you know oh my god my favorite song yeah, yeah. money 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 oh i love that <laughs> <laughs> <My name. laughs> good one good one okay no yeah. so no so okay the yeah. choir yeah then alto alto soprano alto Lovely. yeah yeah Okay. Definitely okay. alto. Alto where, where two you? even. Okay. Yeah. That's Tony Braxton kind of thing thing, my guy. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Were you mm-hmm. were you a choir boy yourself? Never. Never I, the choir. I, I, I can't even sing for life. <laughs> no, that that I can tell. But were you the choir? Choir was was it a choice for you guys? Uh, for me, I, I used to I used to cause of uh, going out. So I used to do like Dandia those rides. I never used to do anything. Hold on. So did you have a school bus though? Yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> and then. <laughs> Why are you speaking to you like you're into school? <laughs> I don't even know where. <laughs> I love and it. And then, and then, and then, and then, so you didn't do choir, did you do plays like Ivy? No? Nah. Nothing? Nothing. So, I, was, I was more into basketball and rugby. Mm. Okay. Mm. So let's, at your school, sports was extracurricular. It was a necessity. That says a lot. <laughs> Okay. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. Okay. Says a lot. And then, and then there you are. You went to campus. Yeah. Um. Where? United States International University. I saw that. I was so sure. <laughs> what is it? Why? Yes. What yes. What? Yeah. What like, is it? That you you're, yeah. uh, I feel like I've been profiled. Yeah, you know. Yeah. No, 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 no. <laughs> uh, international relationships, actually. Oh, I are. Nah. Most okay. most guys go to USA because of that. They okay. do that. Okay. Journalism and that. They yeah. Yes. Okay. Yeah. So so uh, you know a few people who went to USA. You for. In- international relation you said you called it relationships then for remember don't you did right relationships no 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 relations that's a new course what, yeah what course is that <laughs> relation <laughs> denver remember denver yes there's uh, the, the producer used yes, to yes 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 yeah, yes yes okay paka master Does zuko he, oh, all right <laughs> yeah. does he know ivy i don't it depends know. on the year i guess you right yeah. yeah okay so it was usi u africa mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Okay, yeah. okay. No, we're um, good school, by the way. Very good school. Very good school. Yeah. And then, uh, okay, so that's where now you decided, let us now channel our energies. Mm-hmm. And we went into um, we went into marketing. Mm-hmm. And now, mm-hmm. this is where it gets interesting. Yes. Okay. Now, uh, where was this? Because clearly, by the time you left there, mm-hmm. you're like, you know what? I've uh, learned what, what I needed to learn. Godspeed. Peace in the Middle East. I'm gone. Mm-hmm. Um, where was this that we absorbed all of this uh, to good energy i think um surprise surprise i was a telemarketer for do you guys remember gtv yes yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. 
So I learned telesales there. Um, I learned to work um, under pressure and yes. how to just tell people to on the phone. Yes. I, I can't say that on radio. You mean um, piss off? Thank you. Okay. Yeah, and, um, <laughs> um, and, and then I moved. I mean, I've worked since I've, I was 19 years old. So right. Um, next places I can say marketing agencies. Right. Um, so that's why I started understanding how to write strategic proposals, how right. to pitch, um, how to sell a brand, yes. uh, how to commercialize a new product. Um, then, yeah, when I was leaving employment, I re- remember thinking, if I've managed to sell something for Unilever, Record Ben Kaiser, let's say Weetabix, um, why can't I sell myself? I love that. So um, I quit employment in the middle of COVID. Actually, everyone thought I was completely wow. nuts. Wow. Everyone said this is the wrong time to do it. Yes. But uh, high risk, high return. Because that's not too long ago. It's 2023, it's t- middle of COVID. Mm-hmm. I mean, it landed here 2020. So mm-hmm. we're talking about 2021 going on, you know, end of 21 mm-hmm. or 22, yeah. somewhere about there early. And like you said, high risk, high return. So um, Ivy, but you could call it just Ivy is uh, in studio she's a uh, she's she's an alto my friend okay okay mm-hmm. if she can sell can it why could she not sell herself mm-hmm. she's a think fluencer mm-hmm. and um you said uh, she started uh, she studied international relationships you say that uh, relationships. Yeah? <laughs> i did not study international <laughs> relationships <laughs> <laughs> I, I, yeah, struck needs to tell us what that is. Did you know? Uh, you no, know. no, didn't go group of schools. You know, you know. So me, yeah, I that is a me. Yes. So uh, she's in studio. What is think freelancing? What is Money Mondays? Mm-hmm. Legally speaking, you can pretty well figure that out. Mm-hmm. I mean, from the title. Mm-hmm. But she's going to break it down for us. What questions do you have? Get on to Spice FMKE on both Facebook and Twitter, or you can dial the number 0719012600. Okay. Mm-hmm. It is Aspirators. Uh, what, 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 what? Transformational Thursdays. We aspire to inspire. Ivy's in studio. Ask those questions. Now, Ivy, um, we asked you, I don't know if this got to you, by the yeah. way, but uh, you know, you're supposed to pick a few songs that meant a lot to you. Yeah. And uh, uh, wow, that yeah, meant a lot to me. I meant a lot to you. And then, Yanni, your, you know the history behind that music, but uh, clearly things are lost in translation <laughs> sometimes. So, um, you have you have a song that you like? Hopefully, we've got it. Yeah, it's it's not that deep with the songs. Um, so I just picked a few songs that uh, I enjoy listening to sometimes. Okay, I like. Yeah. Um, hey. Poison. Poison. I'm not particularly even well, Poison. Sure the poison is uh, the Jimmy band. Me out of my mind. That one. Oh, oh, oh yeah. Bell Biv Devon. Oh, Bell Biv. Yeah. You. So I love that song. Okay. It reminds me of my youth. Aha. Aha. New Jack Swing. No, you know. but you see now, uh, you see, uh, and the song, the, the chorus starts with what, bruv? It says that girl is. Poison. Mm, poison yes. Ivy. Yes. Oh. 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 Nice. Oh. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So you was that one uh, in the club with Lukwana Sumbua. <laughs> I don't know how to answer that. No, no, no. Just, just, just say. Why you the one who was like? Let me tell you. Me, I, <laughs> I, I can't say Chokoza. Eh. She looks like the mother hen. Never. Oh, really? <laughs> okay, now for... Again with your profile. Yeah, I feel yes. like we need to have a discussion yes, outside please. of studio. Yeah, yes, yes. I yes. don't know what is going on. Yes, yes. Yeah. yeah. I don't for, appreciate it. No, no, no. Yes, yes, yes. For See. those of us who are nanny, what's no, no. the mother hen, by the way, did, in did, the club scenario? Please. <laughs> no, no, no. Honestly. See the... You, you eat chiles. Yeah, they out like chiles, eh? Okay. I love you. Hit on one of them. Ah. It'll make sure you're not Okay. Mm. So, Yanni, mm. what, so what you're saying, in another language, is the cock blocker. Mm. <laughs> mm. Mm. Interesting. Aha. Interesting. Oh. Okay. I don't want to say who you seem like. It might okay. <laughs> embarrass you. Um, I'm a decent human being, so let's just keep that quiet. Yeah. But I love Ubanta. It's, yeah, it's yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah. Let's see. Yeah, it's, yeah. It's, it's, it's a kind of club. Bell Biv Devoe, poison. Next. <laughs> I think of a story. Okay. And I think of a perception. Okay. So sitting here, you might think you're hot and fly and whatever, but what yeah. people perceive out there is your brand. So it's a perception of your story. That's how I would define brand. Yeah. So wh- wh- how, how does one even, pa- you know, when, when it comes to packaging yeah. and uh, selling yourself, mm. where do most people go wrong? In authenticity. Okay. You have uh-huh. to be authentic. Be true to yourself. Authenticity sells more than and de- any discount, any advert, anything. So they go wrong because they're inauthentic. In fact, I was speaking to one of the producers here and I was, she was like, oh, you know, I was drinking a Fanta. Everyone knows why you're doing Fanta in the afternoon. I was drinking a Fanta. And she said, oh, you know, you would be so good for Fanta. I told her, but you said don't regularly drink soda. 
so I would not take the money from Coca-Cola and market Fanta because I didn't drink it. it it'd be inauthentic. Now what was your Wajinga? They can tell from my content that oh, I don't connect. Cool. So they go wrong because they're inauthentic. They're trying to cre- curate a brand and curate a story as opposed to document their story and their journey. Yeah. And okay. you're selling creators. Don't don't create document because people are there oh. for you. Okay, yeah. that's so don't, crazy. Don't create, don't create document. Document. Awesome. Oh man, her followers are called her movers. Mm-hmm. I love this. Mm-hmm. And uh, finally, when we talk about it, what what what? Uh, legally speaking. Mm. Oh, yeah. Man. Legally speaking, I was about to be sued uh, uh, for conflict of interest. So when I was working um, uh, at my at a particular marketing agency, I was running. Um, strategy for a particular client with my over to, with with my channel or on YouTube over 25 we were advertising a competitor brand the client could not understand that so I remember hiring the services of um, one of my lawyers because nowadays I have a battery of lawyers you have to you know flex a little bit I remember asking one of my lawyers to help me like we have to do something here what do we do da 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 and he gave me such brilliant information I remember telling him stop I've been working since I was 19 years old and I've never had any of this information. Mm. I told him, people need to know this. Mm. How comfortable are you in front of the camera? He said, let me think about it. He got back to me around one and a half weeks later. He said, Ivy, let's go. Mm. Legally speaking, was born. Mm. So we basically educate people on the basics of legal, um, how to uh, work through a contract. What what do you look at, yes. especially for creators, because yeah. sometimes you're cheated. Yes. Um, um, we do. Um, uh, one of my most popular ones was surrogacy. You know, there are no laws governing surrogacy in this country. Yeah, true. So what happens there? Adoption of children in the country, knowing your rights, even when you when you're st- stopped by a traffic officer. What language do they speak? Money, power, and yes. fear. Yes. So I. Yes. Teach people. I am learning right. and taking you <laughs> right. on, on this yeah. journey. Yeah. Legalese. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Do you know, hey, your content is, um, mm. and I like that, you know, you're, you're basically, you call the, the followers, they're called movers. Yep. Oh man, and you just document this story. Mm-hmm. I, I, I love this. Mm-hmm. And uh, just Ivy is in the studio. It is, uh, you can call Ivy Money Mondays, legally speaking, and a day with a mover. So, um, on what days? Obviously, uh, throughout the course of week, today is a Thursday. Yeah. We would assume Money Mondays is on Monday. Yeah. <laughs> uh, legally speaking? Yeah. Legally speaking is actually under reconstruction. Okay. Um, so, I want my movers to wait for bus, a surprise bus, there. Bus, bus, I'm very bus, excited there. Bus. A day with a mover literally depends on who um, comes to me for the service. Right. Or who I feel at the time I want to interview. Yes. Yeah. So, now, like, after this, I'd like to interview that guy. Yes. No, that's a lie. No, I don't. Yes. I don't. Yes. No, that's a lie. Um, <laughs> So yeah, it depends because it's a paid service. I need to eat. Yes, yeah. I need to you know? eat. I used to do the the work myself and go out of pocket, and but nowadays it's become popular enough where people say I want to do a day with a mover with you. So it's not standard. Yeah, it's, it's, I, I don't have standard dates. I don't have that. That's the thing also about uh, content for me. Right. I don't. I'm not very structured. I I'm a creative, so I do what I feel when I feel. I love well. that. Yeah, I love that. Yeah. It's going, and you know what? So, uh, the legally speaking, it was a conflict of interest, and uh, now she knows, and she wants you to know. Yeah. But the question is, where does Ivy find the time? We'll ask her that uh, next text. Yeah. Yes. And uh, so, um, let's go to your second song. Mm-hmm. Okay, as we take a musical break, mm-hmm. it was a uh, Jaru featuring Ashanti, mm-hmm. and um, always on time. Ah. What is what does that particular song mean to you, Ivy? Um, I think it's a manifestation because I'm always late. <laughs> really? <laughs> so that is that is <laughs> that, that is the African knees in you. I'm telling you, God, it's terrible. Yeah, it's so terrible. Including for flights. Um, have you ever have you ever have you ever missed a flight? A uh, flight? Oh man, you've missed flights. I've missed flights. I've missed bus rides. I've missed train rides. Okay, no, no, no. Let's. Tell us about the one that really moved you because it was an international flight. No, Either I've you're in- never missed an international okay. flight. No, 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 no. I love my money too much for that. Uh, <laughs> never. <laughs> but, but domestic you have. What yeah. is what is that train ride, bus ride? or psh? In the UK, I remember okay. missing... I, this is such an embarrassing story. Uh, please, yeah. Um, we are here to be missing, embarrassed. So you, you, I, we missed a bus ride with my siblings. We were yes. supposed to be going to Edinburgh from yes. London. Yes. Um, Edinburgh, Edinburgh is in Scotland, my friend. Okay. Yes, yes, yes. Thank you. <laughs> 
and we missed and we booked a second one and still missed the second one like within uh, guys we were just we were just disorganized and rem- i remember thinking it was, it was me my younger sister and my younger brother hi eva hi miles um we rem- i remember after that we just said we need our big sister we're like guys the, the next day. trip yes we have our big sister and true to fact um last year we went back and yes. she was there and yes. everything was perfectly organized on time yeah on time okay <laughs> she doesn't drink soda what does she drink um, yeah, I, I, mm, mm. Allah, what's that all about? We're going to be talking about that. Uh, it's after five in the PM. The court is just around the corner. Yes. So right now on Transformational Thursday, she is in the studio. And man, when we talk about aspiring to inspire, it doesn't get better than this. Because we talk about a lady who um, was last year's Pulse Business Influencer of the Year. All right. And Pulse Most Innovative Influencer of the Year. And when you hear her story, you know that's exactly what she is and uh you also now she was she was nominated you were also nominated mm-hmm. for uh you know women in film mm-hmm. just ivy or you can call her ivy is in the studio before i forget ivy just 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 tell me about that one um about the woman in film i'm intrigued what's that about because so you, you know you, <laughs> you know, now this is the thing that i'm a uh, i see the um those ones that you watch baba good Jesus, I forget their name. You know, but uh, the, the, those ones. It's, it's, <laughs> <laughs> there's a lot of acting. Mm-hmm. But, you know, when I see like your, you know, Money Mondays, mm-hmm. and uh, like abstract now I say, I mean, and now we're totally dedicated to the course. Mm-hmm. Okay. Legally speaking, and a, and, a, and, a, and a day with a mover, mm-hmm. there's no act. There's no acting. Mm-hmm. And, and you're driven more by the movers who are your followers. Mm-hmm. So what was that all about? Um, Nomination for women, well, women in film. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Oh, there's a lot of acting in content creation. Allah. A lot of it. Um, if a, brand, if a uh, corporate comes to me to market a particular service, yes, um, or a product, yes, I'm an advertiser. So which is true. So it's yeah, like a commercial. It's a commercial, um, but but a commercial that people engage with it's very different from the one on tv great I, I don't have a passive audience i have a community yes. that tells me we like this we don't yes. so there is a lot of acting i've yeah. been paid to write scripts right i've i mean yeah there's a lot of acting yes so yeah they appreciate that there's a category in the women in film awards for content okay so i was nominated last um i think 2021 yeah. and uh congratulations to lynn googie won yes um, in that category at the right. time yeah lynn googie yes yeah. know her yeah yeah and um okay so when we were talking about content uh brother you wanted to uh it's all about what you consume as well yeah yeah and uh like you said you, as you're walking in one of the producers asked you you'd look good uh, like uh pushing a, that particular brand that you're drinking mm. what was that like soda about? yeah soda <laughs> <laughs> what was that all about <laughs> um um i don't know i think maybe my energy that okay. particular soda is you know um normally associated with high energy and fun yes um but i as, as a rule and i always say what, what in business you have to have your rules i mean we learned this from warren buffett he has rules of investing okay. and if whatever instrument he's supposed to invest in does not check off one point he doesn't do it okay let me, let me ask you yeah because uh, i've seen cup, uh, some of my, my, my dj pals being brand ambassadors to brand yeah what is actually expected of you and what does it take for one to become a uh, brand ambassador for whatever it is that you're mm. going to push like like the producer would have thought you'd have been good with that particular mm. soda that you're drinking mm. so again i mean for starters okay. um people have to relate to you uh pushing that particular brand if you're if if you don't live it breathe it like engage with it regularly people will not believe what you're what you're That's buying yeah. because you'll just be there in front of the camera to do it but then outside uh, away from the camera what, what are you consuming so that's one of the things i always say just relate to that brand one um two um uh under promise over deliver so do the work do the work um sometimes in this industry uh, under promise over deliver for sure sometimes in this industry you get a contract you're told do this three post but you do one the report is not good you promise them the sun and stars but you give them nothing so also just do the work and then just what are what are your values are your value systems aligned to that particular brand that you're supposed to be an ambassador for so for example um um, you, um, you, you you cannot be pushing wellness, but then you're pushing alcohol. Do you understand? Yeah. 
I'm like you're so you're a wellness yes, ambassador yes, but you yes, you know the, the, yes. it's just a dis, it's just a completely right. disconnect yes, right yeah right. and then um, just collaborate with um, um, that particular brand for um, better content for better output um, I always tell um, my fellow peers and blah 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 do not allow yourself to be the last um, bit of uh, a meeting or whatever be part of the strategy that that particular brand has don't come in in the content strategy come in with a brand strategy ask to sit at those tables learn about that brand keep improving yourself that's the thing about being a brand ambassador you have to keep improving yourself you can't be stagnant and I this I can talk about this all day but I think for me those are some of them yeah because yeah. Yeah. Most, most, most of the guys think like uh, being a brand ambassador only takes is you to take a photo with a brand mm. and then like you always ask me uh, we asked him about the particular brand that they're actually pushing. Mm. They have no idea. Mm. All they know is it's this and it's that. Mm. And uh, in most cases, like nowadays, it's like it's it become more of uh, what you can do mm-hmm. and who you know. Mm. And most brands end up not even pa- half year, quarter of their marketing year. Mm. You can't even tell why we had you as a brand ambassador mm. just because you introduced me to him mm. and I'm. Uh, some of famous on my baby baby bought have bought followers mm. i become a brand ambassador of, of, of that particular brand only as you take is just me to take photos and give you if it's a, it's a drink i give you a, a, to take a photo and just tag me mm-hmm. and so i can program and to them that's mm-hmm. being a brand ambassador i would fall to the brand management for that it means they did not do their due diligence before mm. hiring that particular brand ambassador um they didn't do proper research you just hire someone to represent your brand because of what you've seen out there but you haven't engaged with them so i will garbage in garbage out what was the brief how did you because I've seen that most I've seen a lot of that that's sad yeah so to get involved with the strategy from mm. the beginning from the you beginning. know that clearly takes time Ivy mm. take us through your day any given Sunday oh wow my days are very different um, there's no I don't have a regular day mm. well, Can what imagine? I have is regular energy Wow, I like towards that. Towards my day. Yes. Um, so I start my day with a complete completed task. So something as simple as making my bed. Because now it sets my mind in motion to do something else. Because, you know, little things build up momentum. So a completed ah, task. Um, I like my coffee before 11 a.m. I like my coffee. So I have to have my coffee. I used to work out. God, please, I need to go back to the gym. I haven't been there in a while. So I used to work in, out. In, in a while. Wa- ah, ah, ah. mm-hmm. no, eh. Slow. Arrested development. In a while. It's March. So what? Not in 2023. <laughs> Not in the past one month, not in the past six weeks. Hold up, not in the past one week. Please, when? Please. <laughs> I remember deadlifting 85 kilos. I what? believe June 2022. Yeah, that was my what? deadlifting. I was, it was beautiful. It was so nice. So that was the last time I went to the gym. So yeah. So I do my coffee. I uh, what, what, what kind of coffee? What what, what what you like? Black. No okay. sugar. Yeah, but any particular brand is that you know? No. Mm, mm, no. no. Okay. But if there are any coffee brands listening to this, yes, I'm open yes. to. Yeah. I like that. Yeah. See, see that plug right there. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Um, then I usually meet, probably have a call with my executive assistant so we can figure out what the day is like. So we check the calendar, what needs to be done. Um, I do a lot of calling of uh, my mm-hmm. clients. Mm-hmm. You you get eighty percent of your revenue from twenty percent of your clients. So I always try to get money from my existing clients as opposed to looking for new work i also spend i can spend maybe one to two hours writing proposals um like strategy strategic proposals and and presenting those to my clients uh meetings interviews like this yes yes uh shoots like tomorrow i have a shoot from 10 a.m to 4 p.m so content creation literally wow Wow. um and then strategy meetings with some of my clients that type of thing and yes uh, so I don't have a regular day uh, meeting my movers. So sometimes on Money Monday, when a particular person really interests me, I send them a direct message. Say, can we have coffee? Right. And then we have beautiful coffee. They teach me things. Yes. It's it's just I love meeting new people. Okay. That's why I came here. Actually, I love it. Let me go meet those guys. Oh, I love yeah. it. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you for coming through. So uh, you're cooling off. It's a cool off day. Mm. Okay. Uh, you're chillaxing. What are we doing? Because mm. I I know you you mentioned. Um, uh, mm. You didn't mention when we were speaking when your song was playing. Mm-hmm. Yeah, uh, you, uh, you play the tennis, mm-hmm. right? Oh, please no. That was just an activity. That, that was just something to do tennis, while yeah. while while yeah. you're away. Yeah. But clearly, you enjoy a good laugh. Mm-hmm. You, you oh know, yes. You enjoy a good laugh. Yeah. So uh, you know, you can chat your life. You could take her through to one of those shows. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and then, uh, yeah. No, but so what is your cool off day? I mean, um, what are we doing? I mean, we're disconnecting from social media. I'm on my phone a lot my job so yeah i'm putting the phone aside for a bit and just relaxing i'm engaging with my children um 
I need to give them time. I'm a mother to twins, so I need yes. to give them time there. Right. I've, I'm picking up a book, um, for example. I'm watching a beautiful movie on my Samsung Frame TV. Uh, what do you say? I Click! Please. What do you say? <laughs> Fantastic. Samsung Frame TV. And um, I'm engaging with friends. So I'm an right. extrovert and I like... I, I, I work hard and I play hard. So I'm yes. also just engaging with friends. Right. Yeah. It's, and, a, uh, it's a cool off day. It, it's a cool off day, right? Mm-hmm. And uh, in terms of uh, your crew, mm-hmm. you know? Mm-hmm. So, I mean, like tomorrow, what, 10 to 4. Mm-hmm. Man, that's, that's like a movie set. Mm-hmm. You know what? So do you have you being this, the mm-hmm. go-to content, crea- content creator? Do you have like, you know, you have like 10, 7, 17 crew members that you basically... Um, you know out and about with shooting your content is no, it? no. It's, a, it's a lean startup my business is startup and i mm. keep it uh, lean mm. um so my crew in terms of shoots is usually my assistant uh my videographer and an assistant to the videographer and myself that's a shoot there i love it mm. uh it's all about aspiring to inspire and uh damn even you've been inspired trust me and, yeah yeah so now you've got it in the kiongos yeah Somebody's listening to you and saying, listen, um, Ivy, you said you're going to take a step on the wild side. And that was during lockdown. Mm-hmm. We are now, God forbid, in a recession. Mm-hmm. God we knows. Been for a while. For a while. Mm-hmm. Probably going into a depression. Mm-hmm. What does one do if they have that idea? But obviously, the one thing that they do not have in this day and age is color. Mm. A.K.A. chums. Mm. Ha. I you like know, <laughs> good, job, good job. Look at that. You know, yeah. what should one do? I've got the idea, Ivy, but I really need your advice on how to start it up. Mm. Um, you don't have the money, yes. but I'm guessing you have the gusto. So yes. l- l- learn about money. I keep saying, um, mm. invest in your financial literacy. Also, invest in yourself. There's a lot of courses that you can take online that are absolutely free of charge that will allow you to grow yourself and get fungible skills that way you can set yourself up to make that money because i'm saying right now my strategy is i am working 10 times harder to make 10 times more money because it'll get worse yes before it gets better Better. and when you're making that money invest in the right area so that that money can work for you please please guys compound interest is your friend right do not go to a place where at the end of the year you, you've earned four percent and that four percent every day on your money so make your money work for you and then reduce your expenses reduce your expenses if you know you don't have money it's going to get worse this is not the time for you to be clubbing this is not the time for you to be spending money on wants only Sweet. have needs yes. and then set up yeah. your emergency fund properly please 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 have enough money that will sustain your lifestyle for at least six to twelve months wow do that Please. Right. Yeah. I, 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 I like her. Because actually, most people don't know the difference between wants and needs. And that's where most mm-hmm. people go wrong. Mm-hmm. I want this, but I need this. Mm-hmm. And that's where more, yeah, like, most people who actually earn money, uh, I can't remember the time. Seriously? Means, yeah. Uh, yeah. Yani, most people that we know do not have know the difference between wants and needs. I swear they don't. Yeah, I think also what he said. I think that's why yeah. most people have fifthly suspension. Mm. You just spend, and then you when you when when your account is dwindling and you're about to be blessed with it hits you like oh I need to do I need to do. It's called instant gratification. Yes. People, people, yes. It's a, it's addictive. Yeah. That right. instant gratification yeah, yeah. because yeah. saving money, investing money is really hard. That's so true. they don't want to do that. Yes. And also their mindset is not set towards doing that. So right. they pick the easy thing. But and I always say choose your heart. Do you want to be broke? Or do you want to pay your, yourself in future? So choose your heart. Plus the, this mentality of nowadays of get rich quick. Mm-hmm. It plays a big mm-hmm. role. Mm-hmm. That's and uh, most, uh, yeah, we, we, we're living in a society in, in the times where I want to show you. Mm-hmm. So I need to fit in somewhere. Mm-hmm. So I think if I do this because you're doing this. You see, if you come to my event, I'm not going to lie to you. Mm-hmm. I have a rider. Mm-hmm. And my rider, for you, for me to come to play in the club, you need to sort me my food and drink so have a booty of whatever it is going to give me up to my standard you will come there and you want to compete with me mm-hmm. what happens you spending your hard and money mm-hmm. i'm not mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And that's why mm-hmm. most, most most of these yeah, young okay. people end up losing money i want to buy a car yep but why mm-hmm. that's a liability mm-hmm. there's the, the they forget there's the insurance there's maintenance mm-hmm. there's fuel and this as the more the more you're using this car it depreciates in value so even if you sell it you can't sell you can't get the actual value that you call so those are most of the things that make 
takes young generation go broke yeah. simple it, i can't buy a bottle of uh, this brand i'm depressed yeah. that's what people are calling depression yeah. nowadays yeah. yeah and i like what you said about um, oh, I, you have a rider but i'm guessing when you started your journey you also really hustled your way to be yeah. able to yeah. go somewhere and say this is my rider because young people I always say we emulate the end result without understanding the process. Yeah, true. So how did you get to where you are to be able to tell guys no I'm not coming if you're not doing this for me? Yes. So understand the process before yeah. wanting the result. For me actually what happened was you you're from a gig you you've made this good payment but it's 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 like you never even had money you never had anything because mm-hmm. it's like you being paid to pay them back. So when you're getting your money there's this amount that oh but they uh, this is your bill. So the more that happened I was like when, uh, when you do your maths at the end of the month you're like this is the amount I had but this, uh, I don't have that money so I came so I started searching on uh, more celebrity contracts and every other thing mm. so that's where I saw that rider mm. uh, DJ Styles taught me like if you go you, they, they only, for you to actually you know like if for like a brand for me to give you a quote mm. I'm not just walking up and say I need X amount of money mm. so I have to be like transport at every other thing and every other thing has to be accommodated there mm-hmm. so when I'm getting my money it's from this source either to the bank or being reinvested in my brand either uh, merchandising okay. in the maybe having a manager mm. peer get such things yeah yeah so I, I I saw I saw TED talks there Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um we teach are we mentoring a lot now Ivy? Um mentorship is I mean I don't mentor very many people. If you happen to be in my space like I know my employees I'm always mentoring and I love working with young people. I don't work with people who like my assistant and my social media manager are all under the age of 25. So that's that's how I'm giving back. Is it is, is that is that a go to because uh, the majority of Kenya now is under the age of 25 or they they just happen to be they are savvy and they happen to be under oh, the age of 25. That is it. Okay. That is it. And okay. Africa is the youngest continent in the world. Indeed. If you're yes. not talking to yes. that particular audience. Yes. Yes. And I say I have a passion for youth. Yes. I have to show it. Yes. See a brand. Chap, chap. That is my passion. Yes. So I yes. hire them yes. like yes. that as well. Yes. So I those are the people I mentor. Mentorship takes a while. Coaching, Which I can do true. online coaching because yes. yes. men- you know mentorship you even have to have chemistry and rapport Indeed. with. So Indeed. I do online coaching but yeah. I I have to say I am a product of my mentors. Come on. For sure. Yeah. Ah uh, my goodness, I am a product of my mentors and a lot of people ask me Ivy, how can I get a mentor? I, you have to you have to be the best version of yourself and that mentor will sort of find you you don't go searching and asking be my mentor and you're not you have to stay ready and that mentor will find you i think i'll tell you the number to dial us my brother 0719012600 oh uh, on the mutandao uh, you can hit us up on our social that is spicy fm ke on both twitter and facebook Okay now uh, final moments with Ivy coming up uh, next but you know what uh, she says you know what Ivy's got twins this lady abstract has got yani uh, 36 dila but now the guy asked the question and he wants to do something about it should she allow him to we're going to ask Ivy that question next or in there he is with uh, no judgment and you know what speaking of judgment we don't want to judge it's all about you dialing the number 0719012600 and then otherwise get on to spicefm.co.ke uh, the court is just around the corner but being a thursday obviously you know it is transformational thursday and uh, today when we talk about the show on thursdays it's all about aspiring to uh, inspire and man with uh, her segments one this one is 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 i like what it's under karabati that's what i'd use mm-hmm. you know it's this legally speaking but there's a day with a mover and money mondays ivy's in the studio but uh, you know it's just ivy ivy by the way you know uh, ivy ivy who what do you mean no yeah it's um, edward kerry francis quatch mm-hmm. ivy one jerry moko ivy one jerry moko is in the studio Okay. Now uh, and she is a think fluencer and you know what if you if you talk to him today and if you've listened to Ivy today even Kevin aka abstract we've learned a thing or two or three. Trust Ama? me. Ama? Trust S- me. Swafi. And uh okay she doesn't mentor but she coaches a lot. Okay. And uh your parting shot. Mm. Ivy for the watus. Mm. That are listening to you right now as the you know people like abstracts in there 
they've been told man it's looking bleak are going into the future mm. and uh, as you said you know what just um you know even if you don't have it think about that money financial management mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. as you go forward but does that also include the uh, content creation I've, I've 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 got the brilliant ideas mm -hmm. but i don't i don't have choose mm -hmm. idea mm -hmm. uh -huh. Ivy, i don't have i don't have color so what do i do with those ideas do i just park them no do i share them with you what do i do mm -hmm. you want to start creating content and you don't have money yes you have a phone yes document simple as that yeah mm -hmm. document mm -hmm. document it document right that's it that is it oh is that oh parting short time yes oh okay no um because we've spoken so much about um career and um, work i yes. think for me parting short will be on the flip side don't confuse having a career with having a life just wow. invest always invest in yourself first wow. investing in yourself pays the best interest so wow don't confuse having a career with having a job with having, having a life mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's about you first. And I say that because I spent a lot of time trying to become the best in my industry that I mm. forgot that um, your happiness is very, very important. Um, picking up that book to just, you know, yeah, um, 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 investing in your social skills so that, or in your network so that if, if you go f to a new job, for example, do you enjoy working with those people um, without thinking about the job itself? So. Wow. Invest in yourself always. Please. I like that. Yeah. Invest in yourself. Wow. Uh, oh man, thank you so very much thank for coming. Thank you for having on. me. This was super. On uh, AI. Uh, actually, for, for for those like me who'd want to be following you on uh, Instagram and uh, all those things, uh, what, what what are your pages? Thank and you how so can we much. get you? Thank actually. you so much. Uh, so I'm just underscore Ivy underscore Africa across all my platforms: Instagram, TikTok, LinkedIn, and uh, Twitter. Same to YouTube. I, I hear we speak fast on this show. Mm. Yo, Ebu, slow yeah, down. Kindly, no. please. Uh, uh, yeah. Okay, just okay. underscore uh -huh. Ivy uh -huh. underscore uh -huh. Africa uh -huh. across all platforms. Bus. Yeah. Okay, hiyo ile anakisha kidogo kwa sababu hatujamaliza kwanza. So, Ivy. Yeah. Now in the five o'clock hour usually. Mm -hmm. We've got something called the court. Okay, mm -hmm. where people write in and they've got their small problems. No, they've got their problems. It's a dilemma. Rock hard place. Should we go left? Should we go right? So, they what, you know, they bounce it off us. Mm -hmm. Then, you know, we um, give a point of view. Okay. So, um a lady's written in and says, Hi guys, I'm a 38 year old lady working in the medical profession. Mm -hmm. Last week, I was having a general chat with a colleague in the staff room. He asked me whether I had children, to which I answered, No. Mm -hmm. 38, no? Mm -hmm. uh, he proceeded to ask me why, and I honestly told him that I had not found a good man. 38, no? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Fast forward. He has started hitting on me, yet I know for a fact that he's married. Was I wrong to open up to him? Are there no good men left? Because I genuinely feel that he's taking advantage of my vulnerability. Ivy. <laughs> wow. Advice. Yes. Oh God, that's a difficult one. Um... Can, can you guys start? Yeah, yeah, yeah I'd, like to, I'd like to hear from the male guest yes, first, yes, yes, from yes. the male perspective. So remember, brother, this 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 uh, this lady is thirty-eight, no? Okay. Staff room, yeah. General chat, yeah. yeah? Uh, whether you have children, I don't know where that would come from, but anyway, it's a chat, yeah? yeah. Then she says no. Then he asked why. How's that? That was that is business, by the way. Okay. <laughs> that can be sexual harassment. Some places are we together. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Why? Yeah. And then the lady told him, you know what? She had not found a good man. Thirty-eight years. <laughs> huh? uh -huh. A good man had to find Ivy. Yes. Okay. And that's why she says just straight Wait. in the eye. Yeah, eh, eh, yes. Eh, 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 okay, yeah. so fast forward to this week. The guy started, it's how? So you do this. But he's married. Uh -huh. mm, maybe he's unhappy. Was she wrong to open up to him first? Answer that one. Ivy wants your, your point of view first. Mm -hmm. <sighs> I think yes. Okay. Because as you, you as as you put it, like most of the questions are inappropriate. Why would you want to know yes, about, like yes, yes, yes. this mm -hmm. particular part of my life? Yes. So for you to actually tell this individual, it means like you like the person and you feel 
comfortable around them. Okay, now uh, mm. it is said, it mm. is said that uh, pregnancy is not a disability. I've heard, you know, mm -hmm. um, my friends say that, mm -hmm. you know, when they're in the family way. But now let's flip that coin. Mm -hmm. There are a few ladies who get to that age and they have either chosen not to have kids mm -hmm. or the inability to have kids is uh, also in play. Or maybe career. Yes. Like you say, you, you, chosen, you've yeah. forgotten yes. that you, yeah. yes. you've worked so hard and then you forgot about your life again. The inability could also be from the man's side. Right? Let's yeah. Be very Let's yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Thank Please. you. Yeah. Thank you. Mm -hmm. yeah. you. Have you counted your spoof? <laughs> How to kids sound good. My son, not a good comeback. <laughs> so listen, so is it is it wrong for a lady to choose and she's clearly chosen, you know? Mm -hmm. Does that make her any? Is there? She says she's vulnerable. Does that make her a vulnerable person because she's waiting for the right man? Mm, mm. I think her vulnerability comes from the fact that her boundaries are a bit hazy. Right. Well, I, um, I think if you're 38 and child free, I tell you congratulations. No, no, no. Having children is not easy. But, um, and I love that she said she's not found a good man. Yes. Meaning she's not found a good dad. Yes. Because let me tell you, one of the biggest decisions in your life if you want to have children yes. is the father but, or the mother. Yeah. <laughs> it's yeah. not it's not a joke so i but, think the vulnerability comes because she opened up she, she she needs to work on her boundaries yes yeah i think so and uh you gotta love that ivy mugo thank you so very much for thank coming you. just ivy and if one we will follow you we're subscribing please now yeah and i suggest you do that as well especially um i'm, I'm liking i'm liking i'm liking monday mm -hmm. and the day in the life of mm -hmm. um so please money mondays i'm with you um just tell us how to follow you again please ivy um across all platforms mm -hmm. look for just underscore ivy underscore africa